So, just a couple things that I wanted to cover that I didn't really think fit into the full video. The first being something that I hope you can kind of reason through on your own um, intuitively by what you've already learned from the first video. It's that while what I mentioned in the first video means that you should almost always be moving your stuff in UE4, there are obviously exceptions to that, um, one of which is backing up your files. So, for instance, if you want to back up your map uh, so that way you have a copy of it somewhere just in case, it's always fine to use Explorer for that. The only thing is, when you are recopying it in, so let's say your map is in the Maps folder because you haven't moved it over to a plugin file yet, um, if you copy, let's say, Narva somewhere else, um, so I copy it to like somewhere in the folder, when you're pasting it back into the editor and you're using Explorer, you have to make very sure that you are pasting it into the exact location that you copied it from. So if you copied your map out of squad, squad, content, maps, then you need to paste it back into that exact directory, and it has to be named exactly the same thing when you paste it in, or else the references won't work for what I hope are obvious reasons. Um, the other uh, obvious uh, a, you know, exception is if you're copying content out of your build of UE4 to a different one, or if you're just copying it out, period, then obviously you can use Explorer. Just be prepared for stuff to break if your file path isn't exactly the same from the content folder. Um, now, if you're copying uh, assets from one build of UE4 to a different one, or from the SDK to a build of UE4, there's actually a handy function for that. Um, you can right-click on anything, and where is it? Oh, you might have to right-click on a folder, actually. Um, and there should be a migrate button, yes, here. Um, and basically what this does is, It'll take everything that that folder is referencing, and it will package it all up for you. And if you have another build of UE4 installed on your computer, you can navigate to it, and it'll move it all in there, and nothing should break. That's the idea behind it. So, in theory, that's the best way to move things between different builds of UE4. However, just, you know, your mileage may vary. I've had it happen where it didn't quite work and I had to copy stuff over in Explorer, and that's fine. Um, especially considering that usually when references break, you can just fix it by, you know, putting the stuff back where it should be, or, you know, in your materials you might reconnect some dots or something. It should be fine. Uh, second little bit before I end this video is that there's actually a handy tool that you can use for looking through references that I used in the first video but didn't mention, and it's this reference viewer option. It should be on pretty much everything. Um, and you can go in here and basically things to the right are things that this asset references. So basically this this map uses the Chora minimap. Um, and then if you open up a different asset, like let's go back to our porta potty example, which I moved, but we'll just use this here. Um, you can see that things that reference your asset are to the left of it. So Basra uses this asset, and this asset uses the concrete blend material. Um, so that's how that works. And you can change, you know, how far you're searching and everything. There are some options here. You can play with that yourself. But this is a really handy tool for figuring out what's being used where, or, you know, if, you, if it's safe to delete an asset. Because if there's nothing here, then obviously you can just delete it because it's not being referenced by anything. Um, that's just a, a really handy tool. So hopefully this was helpful. Bye-bye.